guys, it's Nelly, and this is the Kitchen 6 Podcast. This is episode 11, and it is really early in the morning <laughs> on Tuesday, uh, September something after Labor Day. I don't know. I have no idea. I really, like, this is the, this is going to be the fast and furious, because I'm literally just trying to fit it in so that I can get it done, so that you guys can know who the winner is, and I have... So much other stuff to do today. So, without any further ado, um, I'm Nelly. You can find me on Ravelry and on Instagram and on YouTube as Kitchen Six. Um, and this is a podcast about knitting and whatever else I feel like throwing in there because I'm crazy. So yeah, um, I just got back from a weekend away, and uh, yeah, we're, we had a lot of fun. We got a lot of school supplies because there's no taxes on stuff in Oregon. <laughs> um, and it made it easier. Um, yeah, so nothing happened. I like, there's no just happened. I, I didn't finish anything. Um, I, I did a lot of socializing and a lot of talking and not as much knitting um, over the weekend, though there are a few things that I'm working to finish, but they're bigger things, so yeah. Um, so what am I working on? Uh, well, I'm working on, let's see, we're doing and doing and doing well. That's the segment, right? Ugh. I have names for these things. Okay, so I'm working on my daughter's cardigan thing. So I did the armhole, um, and I so I and I had to redo the armhole bind off uh, twice because the first one it didn't stretch at all, and I don't I don't remember what bind off I did, but I ended up doing um, I think it's called Jenny's super stretchy bind off. I did that for the armhole, and that seems to have come out way better, and it works bit way better for the fabric. The fabric is really stretchy. It's really bouncy. Like, look how bouncy this fabric is. Ooh, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I'm being silly. Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, so I started the second uh, skinny yarn for that, and I have, uh, what, three more, I think? Yeah, maybe four more. I maybe got more, because I was a little worried that I wouldn't have enough. But it, it should probably only take another two or three more. And that's just done in seed, st seed stitch. I'm doing it on size sevens, which is a 4.5 millimeter. And then um, I'm using Karen Simply Soft in the, I think it's called Stormy Weather. Or just, yeah, Stormy Weather. And it's in the st Stormy Weather colorway. So it's going to come out black and white and gray. Which my slightly emo, slightly goth daughter loves. You know when they grow into that, their whole style thing and they're trying to figure stuff out? Yeah. But her pictures look super cute. Yeah. Okay. So, we're, uh, I got lost. Sorry, guys. Okay. Um, right. Doing it and doing it. So the other thing that I'm doing, of course, is my Hito Fude, which I have put, um, a couple of repeats on. Not a lot. I haven't been knitting. I've been school shopping and socializing with family and friends. So, um, I did have to take it back and fix something. It was like four rows, but that wasn't too bad. So, let me see if I can. There we go. See? It's doing really good. And that's the front. Um, I probably have like four or five more inches to do. I haven't like put it on waist yarn and tried it on. I'm probably going to do that this week and see just where it hits because um, I'm a little longer of body than some of the p petite girls that I've been trying it. I have some cousins and nieces and stuff that I've been using to... <laughs> Let me see how big this is. <laughs> so, they're, they put up with me pretty well, I think. Um, so yeah. But I'll probably put it on waist yarn this week and try it on and see how it's doing. And I really think that it's going to be finished really soon. Especially since the kids go back to school this week. Tomorrow, actually. They go back to school tomorrow. <sighs> I love my kids. I adore my kids. I am so tired of them being at each other's throats. They even like each other most of the time, but they're still just like, ah, I think they're just done. They need something to do. They need some focus for their brains. So yeah, schools is super excited about that. 
because in their boredom they just want to kill each other. Ugh. So that's the heat of food day, and it's doing it's doing really well, and I love the way it's turning out. Um, the other thing that I did actually put work on, I'll show you guys, is I I, I did more work on. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you the needles for. I'm using size five needles for the heat of day, and I think I have it on a. 36 inch cord, maybe? I don't know. But it's size 5 needles, and the yarn is Madeline Tosh, Tosh Marina Light, and then it's the worn denim colorway. Um, yeah, so that's really pretty. And then um, this is the hat for my friend's wife with stripes from his hat. Um, and I actually put every, like this whole two inches here, and most it was mostly car knitting too. Um, and I'm using for this I'm using Jorstead Creek yarns they're Tweed DK and I'm using the red and teal colorways um, and this is uh, the bank head pattern because right? I think bank heads are great <laughs> people with cancer should get bank heads that's, that's what Dan from Bakery Bear says right so yeah it's a bank head so, but I had to stop when I was knitting on this because I didn't have the pattern with me and my service was really bad. We were like out in some boonies lake location and I couldn't pull it up on my phone. So I have to look at the pattern today and go, oh, oh yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> so, but that's, that's for Kristen and she will be happy to have that, I'm sure. Um, the other thing that I'm working on is Dean Socks. I don't know if I actually worked on them. I don't think I did. No, I didn't. I didn't work on them. See, they're still just the same as they were last time. Um, but I did put them in my new bag. And in my pretty new kitty bag. Isn't it pretty? It's from Soxetra. And she's Shannon. She's in, um, she's in Canada. Um, and she was so sweet to, to let me know when, it, when she put it up in the shop so that I could get it. I was really, really appreciative. And if you don't watch her podcast, you should give it a look. She's um, she's a little different with her stuff, and she shares some some really personal and 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 difficult topics and conversations. So yeah, check out Shannon. Um, but yeah, so that's in my socks at her bag because because it's got the cute kitties on it. Okay, um, so that's all I'm working on. Um, uh, so that moves us to shiny pretty things and I do have shiny pretty things because it was my birthday um, and so you guys have seen this already I'm pretty sure I showed that in the last podcast too because my husband got that my mom got me some really pretty blue hand spawn and she says I'm supposed to make something for me with it but my favorite part about this yarn is that it smells like my mom's house because she kept it at my mom's at her house for before my birthday so um, it's this lovely little aqua and it's hand spun so it's really soft and squishy and I have to find just the right pattern it'll probably end up being like a scarf or a shawl or something something to go cozy around my neck it's really soft I think it's gonna do yeah I can do that and look it matches my sweater okay so that's the the yarn that I got for my birthday, and then I got a gift card for Barnes and Noble, so I went to Barnes and Noble and looked in a couple of different sections, but then I found this, and I'm really really excited about this. Um, it just it basically it has a bunch of different patterns for a bunch of different things. So if you want to make up your own stuff, you can make up your own stuff. So um, not that I'm going to be designing like I mean massive patterns or anything soon, but I just like having instructions. So, but there's a bunch of different stuff in here. Like it shows, it shows like really cool. And then there's instructions for each stitch pattern. Um, so, but I, th I thought it would be really cool like for help making washcloths that are different and for, you know, putting patterns into things if I want patterns and things like hats or whatever. Cause I tend to just go for it with hats and just make something up. Right. So yeah. All the Stitch Dictionary. It's by um. Oh, what is her name? 
Debbie Chomkies. Sorry. I'm sure you can read that, but yeah. So that's my new thing. Um, I did also get uh, Joanne's uh, 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 I just blanked again. Sorry. Um, I got a gift card for Joanne's. Uh, and so I went and I got um, a pattern and some fabric to make a top for myself. But I, I keep looking at it and I'm like, mm, I should make a muslin first because you know, the other people, <laughs> like all the sewists, yarngasm and, and, and tiny paper foxes and um, even uh, Katie from Inside 23, uh, if they say to make a muslin. So I'm probably going to go get some muslin and screw that up first so that I can actually make the blouse nice because it's a really pretty blouse and the fabric is so pretty. Um, I didn't bring it down though, so I'll show you next time. Okay? All right. Um, and so that is all of the things. I do not have Wendy What's Cooking for you. Uh, I, I literally just woke up. We got back late last night and my kids are still sleeping. So I was like, I'm going to quickly do a podcast. Yeah. So you get the Fast and Furious version of the Kitchen Six Podcast. Kitchen Six Podcast. I haven't even had coffee. Like my coffee's still sitting right there. Actually, let's do that. Coffee, coffee in my Hawaii cup. Also, if you can hear the rumbling, so my kitty is like right here. You can see her paw right there. That's my kitty. So. Actually, let me move the camera, maybe you can see her a little better. I mean, I have to like loosen some things. Hopefully this doesn't go badly. It's probably gonna go badly. Things in my life usually do. There's my fluffy. Now that is my favorite blanket. So as soon as I sat down here, she came and crawled onto my favorite blanket, started kneading and purring. Yeah. Okay, let's see if I can at this. My husband's like, you should use the tripod. I can't make the tripod work as well for me. It's like a contraption that doesn't like me. So yeah, that's Willow. Willow the Fluffy. I got my coffee and it's, oh my gosh, it's still really early. <laughs> but I'm letting the kids sleep in since it's the last day before school. All right, so I don't have any, um, I don't have any recipes for you today. I didn't put anything together. I usually have time, but I, I just wanted to get this done so that you guys could see the winner of the Happy Birthday Podcast giveaway. Okay, so I took all of um, the names in order and wrote them down, and then I numbered them because there was a couple of um, extra posts or whatever in the thing, and I didn't want to gig anybody. I just I just wrote all the names down in the order that you guys entered them on the on the thread. And then I gave them all a number um, in, in the order that you guys were in. And then I pulled up a random number generator and I plugged in, cause there was and there ended up being 10 people that entered. And I plugged in one to 10 and um, it came up with uh, America. See? And America is Emmett and she's in the Philippines. And she's actually one of my, um, one of my Instagram friends too, and she talk, we talk to each other pretty often. Um, so what she said about the, the prompt was she likes, she likes to just be able to have her birthday day to herself to do what she wants. And I love that idea. I would love that too, but my family says I have to celebrate, which means I have to do some sort of party thing. But I would love it if everybody would just leave me alone and I could just knit or craft or read a book or play Minecraft for four hours with, with really just just resting by myself so I'm with you Emmett that's <laughs> that's a fabulous idea so Emmett if you will um, direct message me either on Instagram or on Ravelry your choice um, and let me know your postal address so that I can send out a package it will go out um, I think probably on Friday I have time Friday. I definitely have time Friday. But that will also give me a little bit of time to grab a couple of little things to put in there because I haven't had that much time. <laughs> We've been out adventuring because, you know, 
you know how we do. So yay, congratulations Evett! And um, yeah, so thank you guys for so much for participating in my happy birthday giveaway. I really, really got excited about like picking a winner and I was really, I'm really excited that it's somebody that I interact with all the time. I didn't expect it was going to be her. Um, it was, but I was really, really excited when she, when, it, when I saw her, I was like, oh yay, it's her. And now, now we're, um, now I get to send it to her. Yay. So, um, yeah, that's all I have for you guys. We went down to Portland, um, which is like two and a half hours away from here. Um, we have friends down there and family. So, uh, I got to see my sister-in-law and my, my little baby nieces and nephews. Well, they're not babies anymore. <laughs> One's seven and the others are like two. So they're not babies anymore, but they're babies to me. So, um, we went down there and we played with them on Friday and then Saturday we went exploring and we went to a waterfall and went to a fish hatchery and the kids had a great time and it was there was frogs and there was rocks and there was waterfalls and and even the 12 year old was like I had a really fun time and she says she hates hiking so it was a really little hike it was like a mile and a half maybe so um, it wasn't bad at all but mostly it was just crowded <laughs> I, I forget us, us Pacific Northwesterners really like to get out of the house and go hiking and go do stuff on the weekends and I forget sometimes when I'm when I'm not doing so well that to get out of the house you have to deal with the crowds so yeah um, and then what else did we do oh Sunday we did we went um, school shopping and um, got all of their school supplies um, and I feel like I, I I spend about 50 bucks less than I would have had I done it up here. So I feel like I stole stuff. I really do. Like, I feel like, ooh, I, I got away with, like, something. But yeah. My daughter is starting middle school. That's going to be fun. So she has her own locker. So we got her, like, a chandelier for her locker. It's this really cute little black LED light chandelier thing. It's really cute. So when I'm, when I'm paying for these things, my husband goes, what is this? This is, she doesn't need this. I'm like, yes, she does. It's dark in her locker. She can't see in there. And he's like, I never had this. I'm like, and that's probably why you're so against her having one. So just stop. And the cashiers are laughing and my husband's just being silly. So it was good times. Um, but yeah, so her locker's going to be all decked out and she's got, she's just ready for her. She's, she's so big now. And then my littlest, my, my boy, He's, this will be the first year in a school by himself. Um, his sister won't even be here when he wakes up. Like she leaves before he even gets out of bed, because their schools are start like almost two hours apart. So I know it's really weird, um, but they have them set at different times in our our district. So the middle schoolers and the high schoolers. Oh, sorry, the kitty's destroying my blanket. <laughs> Stop ripping at you. Um, Yes, per 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 all the loves. Um, but she, wait, where was I? So the middle schoolers and the high schoolers go together at like, like seven. There's, the bus comes and gets them at seven. The school starts at seven thirty, and then my son doesn't start until nine fifteen. So the, the bus doesn't come get him until eight forty, ish. So, yeah, that's a huge gap. But there's also, like six elementary schools, and I think three of them. Um, end up being they start at like eight something too so there's like they're staggered so um, yeah it's fun but this will be the, his first year by himself and we'll see how he does he's usually had his, his sister to kind of watch over him and kind of bug him but um, yeah we'll see how that goes it'll be it'll be a learning experience for him and she's really excited we already did orientation last week, um, last Thursday, which is one of the reasons the podcast is late because I spent all last Thursday <laughs> instead of filming, I was doing orientation stuff and fixing my daughter's hair. And are you done with me, kitty? Willow, willow. Yeah, she's she's done with me. I made her stop tearing the blanket, so I'm the meanest mommy ever. She's done. Um, and then, you know, and then we packed up and we left Friday, so, yeah. Sorry it's late, guys. Um, I think that's it. 
I mean, so that's the whole podcast. That's not a lot, but, you know. So, this week I'm going to be working on um, getting that cardigan done and getting my cardigan done. Um, and once I finish those, well, once I finish the, the Hito Fuda, I can put the Zuzu's petals on, and that's that's the next thing I'm really excited about. I really want to see how that yarn knits up into that pattern because I think it's going to be beautiful. So I'm super excited about that. Um, and then I'll just keep plugging away on the, the hat that makes me cry. And uh, <laughs> yeah. And then I'm going to start working on dishcloths. And I have to pick out baby patterns for my um, the new baby that's on the way. My brother's having a baby. Yay. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the next of it. Oh, and somehow I have to teach myself how to make a blouse. I can do that, right? I can totally do it. It's going to be interesting. But the fabric's gorgeous, so it's totally going to be worth it. Um, but yeah, those are the plans. And I got to get muslin, because I'm not going to mess up the blouse. I'm going to mess up the muslin. Because I know me, I know, I know I'm going to be like, I don't need to do that. And I'm going to miss something and it's going to look crazy and uh, so yeah. But it'll be alright. Okay, so let me get this on Honda Winners Movie Maker and get you guys your podcast. I know it's a little late, I'm sorry. Life happens. Um, so, but I came, I came and did it first thing this morning, so yeah. Um, I hope you guys had a great, great Labor Day weekend. Those of you who celebrate and those of you who didn't, I hope you're having a fabulous, fabulous week. And uh, we'll see you in hopefully just under two weeks. The schedule should go back to normal now. At least mostly normal because school's going to be in. Yay! Um, yeah. So have a great couple of weeks. I'll see you in just under two weeks, and congratulations Emmett, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye guys.